right, so we are now. Alright, we are now here at Epcot. We just got off the bus and it was like perfect timing. Right as we were walking out, right as we were walking out to the bus stop, we actually, the bus like literally had just pulled up. So we didn't have to wait at all. We got right on, perfect timing. And so this is gonna be really interesting going into Epcot right now because yesterday, like I said, when we were here was the very last day of the Food and Wine Festival for this year. And so I'm really interested. The festival of the holidays starts in a couple days um, from now. So I'm, and we saw some of the Christmas decorations, like the big icon tree and stuff, have already gone up. I'm curious, most <laughs> especially about like the whole display in the front that they had had for food and wine, if they've like already transitioned that to Christmas. This will be really cool because I love how Disney can like do all that stuff overnight. I'm just looking forward to getting in here and seeing like you know what do they do like especially with like some of those booths have they already taken them down from food and wine this will be very interesting to kind of see like that transitional period in Epcot okay so we are in Epcot now this is a rare site that you will very very rarely see because there's usually always a festival happening in Epcot but look at this just the day after food and wine they've already taken out all of the food and wine display that they had in the front and they haven't yet transitioned it to Christmas yet. I think, did they have these flowers though? Maybe they planted these overnight as like the first thing? Will they keep them here when they put this stuff? That's what I'm wondering. I wonder if, I mean, it is red. It works for the holidays. Maybe this is part of the display, but yeah, cause that'd be really a shame if they like planted them just for like a day or two before they then are gonna put in the Christmas things. Wow, you can tell, like, it looks like they were just, just planted. Oh my gosh, this is really interesting, because you never see Epcot like this. Just like, regular, ordinary time in Epcot. This looks like they've already changed over the stage to now have all the Christmassy things. Getting ready for the festival, the holidays. They have the joyful stage show happens here. A celebration of the season. Let's see, looks like got garland all the way around the front and this is really cool this is over here heading into world showcase on this bridge they always have another display and they had the food and wine display and it looks like they're currently transitioning that they have the hedges up around is creating kind of like a barrier and here's this hedge I want to know what are they doing over there is there any way to do looks like it's just a blank surface at the moment we're coming back to see the eye country. It is gorgeous. I love Epcot's eye country. My favorite part, I love the angel at the top holding holding up the world. Like I said, we can snack at every little. I have to say, it seems very quiet in Epcot today. A lot of the booths are kind of taken out. Well, some of them are still up, but I think it's just the fact there's not a lot of people and stanchions around. Oh, look at these Disney ducks, so cute. But yeah, it seems very quiet so far walking through here. It's a cool, cool sight to see, neat perspective. See, it looks like they still have up most of the booths, but like I said, there's just not like a lot of the stands out front to pay for things, so it seems a lot more open. So this is cool, so they already have up, this was the Canada booth for food and wine, but they have it now for the festival of the holidays. So they just kind of redecorated it, put the sign up, and it says right in the corner, they're coming soon. And Remy's still here hanging out, I guess from, this is part of the food and wine scavenger hunt, but maybe they're gonna incorporate him into festival of the holidays as well. This whole area yesterday was like a bottleneck trying to get through here, and now it is so much more open. So yeah, definitely, this is good. If you're ever here during a kind of transitional into festival time and looking just to kind of experience Epcot for just what they have, non-festival related, come when they're like in between festivals like this because this is a very Except neat summer. Except summer, because then <laughs> you have the summer crowd. So it's like very rare occasions that I guess it'd be, I guess going between food and wine and festival of the holidays like we are right now, and then probably in between Festival of the Holidays and Festival of the Arts for like that little bit of time. So there's like little windows of opportunity. Oh, and then from Festival of the Holidays to then go into Flower and Garden. So I think at some point there's like always gonna be a festival happening in Epcot, which I love because 
I am a big fan of the um, Epcot festivals, but you know, this is like, we've been to the Epcot festivals so much that it's kind of interesting right now seeing this transition time. And definitely I can tell a big difference in the crowds right now that is not as crowded. And maybe that is just, we're here on a random Tuesday. So maybe that also helps with it. Oh yes. The crackers in them, the English It's really cool. So yeah, Festival of the Holidays is a very fun one and we got to experience that last year and I always love what they do, um, just transforming every inch of the park with holiday decorations like that and each one of course themed to every single country that we are in in each pavilion. They have the teacups up, oh and this bird! <laughs> very cool. So we are going to go ahead and go to the little guest relations stand that is down here um, in International Gateway because we are actually picking up our pass holder card because we just renewed our annual passes for this trip. We were able to do that online, but now we just need to get the actual card um, because they don't send those out anymore. You have to stop somewhere and get them. Little tip if you're a pass holder because it is good to have because sometimes when you get the discounts on merchandise and things, they do ask to see your physical card. You can't always pull it up on the app, but it's sometimes it's just easier to have the card so make sure you always get that when you are a pass holder you have to specifically ask for it and they used to just give it to you along with you know they would send out your magic band and everything to you and you became a pass holder but you now have to actually ask for it when you buy an annual pass like can I have one of the cards so we have to get our updated cards since we just renewed our annual passes and we tried to do it at the place there we were waiting at the guest relations um, when you first come into Epcot, but they had a really long line and one of the cast members came over and asked what we were trying to do. And he said that they could probably help us over here because we said we were heading in the direction of Ale and Compass. So we're really happy that he told us that tip because this is not supposed to be as busy down this way. Oh yeah, look at this. He was right since they are doing all this construction, the guest relations over here is not crowded at all. Perfect. Oh, they have the decorations. Look at that. Feliz Navidad. Oh, they have all the different holiday sayings from the different countries represented. All right, so we were able to get our cards. We had like no wait there, it was perfect. And now we are actually looking at, look at this, they are currently doing construction for the Skyliner gondola, which is gonna come right here. So you'll be able to take this to the International Gateway and go right into this back entrance of Epcot. That's gonna be really cool. I am excited for this. You're also gonna be able to take it to Hollywood Studios and be able to park hop more easily. This is so cool and they're like, look at them, they're actually like doing work. This is neat. Got people over there. We're gonna have some theming now going on here. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. They have like some swans and birds. It's really, really cool. And over there you can see the construction for the Ratatouille ride, something I'm also super excited for. Look at this, and here's some more walls for the Skyliner gondola. It's awesome. Okay, heading over to the Yacht Club. I love seeing all of these construction things. I think I mentioned this before because it's just so cool to me that like one day this stuff will be complete. And like, you know, the fact to be able to say like, you know, oh, you know, I saw that when it was being constructed. I just think that's so cool. It's like you're kind of a part of Disney history that sounds really like cheesy but <laughs> to me like I just think that type of stuff is really really cool so I love seeing and kind of documenting each time that we come and seeing kind of the points they're at in the construction process so I think it's cool <laughs> but okay so we're gonna go over to the Yacht Club really looking forward to this reservation the food looked great um, I seen a video on this I think a while back and it looked um, like the food was really good I heard really good things about it so we're gonna check it out I'm excited So we're passing by the beach club. So the beach club is more of this bluish color building. And then over there, the gr more gray building is the yacht club. And then they share in the middle, like a really, really neat pool. I'll have to show that. This is part of the pool that they have. They have this slide that's actually a ship. It goes across the way and over into the pool. I actually 
they have a pearl factory thing over here that you can do a pick a pearl experience, which I think is really neat. And here is the pool, and it's actually a sand bottom pool. You can kind of see over in the center there, they have actual sand. Alright, so here we are. We've made it over to the Yacht Club. We're going to go check in for our reservation. Look how nice this lobby is. It is so pretty. Look, they have almost like we were admiring the whole time at the Grand Floridian. They do the fresh flowers in the lobby. So pretty. This place is so pretty. We're checking in now. Okay, so I ordered it. I'm getting the white clam flatbread. Oh my gosh. Okay, this, I am so happy that I got this. This looks so good. 